Welcome to the Smart Business Show, episode 33. Today, I want to talk about uh, trans transformation. So reinventing ourselves and our business is a continued process. We're just simply not the same people we were, uh, say, 10 years ago. When I was 25, I had, you know, I was working to even keep up with my bills, let alone have anything left over for Christmas, let alone really anything. It was, you know, those are some tough years with my wife and I. Um, at 35, I got kids, I've got a mortgage, I've got a business that runs well, you know, I'm not necessarily struggling to pay the bills, but there's, it's, it's a different position I'm in now. It's a different, different business I run, even than when I started five years, five, six years ago, I guess, running my business full time. The thing with transformation is it's scary, especially the big ones. Now I could see a time in my business where I transition from doing client work all the time to even, you know, writing more about business or coaching more about business. But to do that at some point, I'm likely going to have to make a bit of a jump. I'm going to have to say goodbye to some of my clients and not necessarily have the next, you know, their replacements lined up yet. Maybe I'm going to end up working on a book or something and I'll have to stop working with clients. So I have time for that book and, you know, cut my income for a while and hope the book succeeds. Hopefully it will, hopefully it won't, who knows, but it's going to be a scary leap. It's going to be something I have to involve with my wife in as well, make sure that she is okay with that. For a lot of people, and a lot of people I even talk to, when they talk about transformation and changing their business, what they're actually really after is the thrill. So they like this excitement of that leap into something unknown, and that's really what it ends. They don't necessarily care what they're doing, they want that thrill. They never find where they should be for a season because everything's a season, right? I'm in the season of running a client-based business right now. I guess all businesses are client-based, but you know, a, a service-based business where I interact regularly with my clients. What they really are chasing though, instead of this season or this answer to where they should be right now is that thrill. Unfortunately, that means that they're never gonna master and really anything. They're gonna be an inch deep and a mile wide, which means you're never truly a leader in your field. As I said earlier, I could see a time when I transitioned from, you know, doing a lot of business with clients, um, you know, writing a development business to writing more about business. That's still in the same general field, right? I'm still thinking business in one and I'm thinking about it in more. I'm just changing my focus to be more of a thinking about business and to working on it, maybe to helping people run better businesses. That's still in the same field and that's still something I can continue to master. But that is a tension we always hold though, whether we strive for the new and yet master ourselves in our work. So today I want to ask you, what are you mastering? Or are you just searching for this thrill? What is that thing you need to cut to make that next jump? Do you know what your next jump is? And maybe you don't, right? For a number of years, I wasn't sure what my next jump was. I think I know what it is now, but even then, you know, there's still some haze around it. Maybe I'll only know for sure once I, you know, look back and say, yep, yeah, this is this is good. This has succeeded. This was obviously my next jump. And hindsight is always 2020. You have to hold it in tension, that ability to master your field and that thrill, that reinvention to move on to the next phase of your life. Thanks for watching.